Welcome once again, my name is Splattercat and welcome to Basecamp Zugak. Today is going to be a very exciting day. There are so many things that we need to get done and that burb, he double pooped seeds. Fantastic. I picked up the first pile and he pooped out more for me. What a wonderful fellow. Now, there's some more seeds up here. Hold on, I get sidetracked easily. Now, things to consider for this little play period. Now we need to get a crock pot and an ice box made. The crock pot is going to be humorous because I'm going to take the easy route and just do this the super, super easy way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down some trees real fast. Usually I try to edit this out because tree chopping is not much fun. I always have this strange urge to make wood jokes every time I do it. And really, we're classy. We're classy up here in the nerd castle. We're classy. We try to stay away from the wood jokes. We merely think them. We do not act upon them. So as I chop these trees down, please forgive me. And we will do something interesting in just a moment. So, wood, wood, wood. Come on, wood. There we are. Get some more wood. Get some pine cones. Go away, pine cone. I'm going to plant you. And you can dig up these stumps. These stumps can be dug up so that you can plant more trees, just so you know. The trees are getting quite large down here. I'm actually really hoping a tree guard doesn't decide to eat me. I've had several tree guards thus far off camera show up and try to eat me. None on camera, strangely enough. They seem to be camera shy. That or maybe the trees are just, they don't want the general public. Like, the trees are trying to avoid the general public knowing their plan. Like, one day they're just going to uprise and now march their way across the fields and attack us. Now, we have some wood. Let me take a look at my structures. It's not under structures. It's going to be under food. All right. So I think I'm going to do the ice box first. We need one plank, a singular plank. Let me store some things in this chest over here real fast. We'll throw these excess bees in there. We'll throw some butterflies in a chest. So now as... Whoever's trying to steal from my chest comes, they're going to be assailed by bees, but at least they'll be like, oh, butterflies. I'm also going to put my rabbit. I'll name my rabbit Lawrence. We'll put Lawrence in the crate. He hasn't died. Strangely enough, the rabbit does not expire after weeks of being in my pocket. Is there any wood in here? There's not. Okay. So, let's make our plank here. So, we're going to go to our refine, mem our little refine menu. We're going to make some boards. We have our boards now. And we need... Two stone, two stone, and two gold. So let's go find some stone. And stone in the box, there we are. We've got some gold. And I'm going to go throw these turds in this box over here. Because everyone knows you should keep your hat in the same box that you keep your turds in. That's a little known fact. Also, your food. I actually like to sit the food right next to the turds. It helps them be refined now. <laughs> it helps them stay fresh. It gives them a nice oaky flavor. Now, we need blocks, so we're going to refine some stones here. Two stones! Shazam! And I don't know exactly how the ice box works. This is kind of a new thing that they added. I'm not really sure how this is going to help us. Oh, it's like a little refrigerator. It's like an old 1970s, 60s refrigerator. Okay, well, where do I want to put this? I think we'll put the fridge right next to the farm. Why not? Why won't it let me... <sighs> Come on, fridge. There we go. So we have a refrigerator now. What can we store in said refrigerator? Probably all manner of food. So let's grab everything that's probably going to go rotten and throw it in here now. And we can actually combine those stacks to avoid them going super bad. We do need to catch some birds. So my mind has been wandering to the conjuring of perhaps some bird traps. We do need to cook up, and actually that means we can harvest our berries too. So let's harvest some berries. We'll throw them in the fridge. And we'll cook them up this evening when we come back to our base camp. That's if we make it back to Zugak tonight. I don't think... I've named the village that the Pig King rules. I've named it the Village of Snurf. I think that's a name that it kind of follows the sounds they make. It came to me in the night. It was a rush of inspiration. I feel as though it's probably the best name for it. So I don't think I'm going to have to go up to the... I don't think I'm going to have to go to Snurf anytime soon to pick up any more gold. Although... I'm not going to lie, I have deep down been planning kind of the genocide of Snurf. It's not a very nice thing to talk about, but it could happen. How much durability is left on this shovel? 25? Alright, so let's dig up some stumps. There we are. And that spider is just, he's like, that's my stump. Stay away from my stump. I like to think of the spiders as being vaguely southern. Now, that's <laughs> south in America, that is. Not South America. Those are completely different spiders. They have maracas. Now, we have destroyed... God, these spiders... I really am going to have to do something about this spider lair in the near future. 
the spiders are becoming much more brazen, and I don't know if I mentioned this in the past, but spiders, the spider layers essentially level up, so while I'm over here building my base, they're doing the same thing. They're like out chopping down trees and gathering resources. I'm lying, they don't actually do that. If I saw a spider with an axe, I might pee my pants and just quit the game altogether, because that's just not acceptable. Spiders can hold, they have eight legs. They could hold like possibly maybe six axes if they were really talented. And that would just be like a whirlwind of axes that I just don't feel like I could deal with. So I'm going to research these real fast. This is also a secondary bonus of having multiple research machines. You can kind of bounce back and forth and research a little quicker. Oh, I hear hounds. They sound close, too. Damn. Well. Oh, there he is! <laughs> He's so happy to see me. And that's one hound down. Oh, Christ. No! <laughs> no, my entire city. Oh, God. The horror. Even the spider's like, the horror. I feel like you're laughing at me, hound. I feel like you're not... I feel like you're gloating. Well, I did need charcoal, so that actually... Haha, -ha, hound, you played right into my plan. I needed charcoal. Oh, and I just got bit by a spider like a moron. There we go. So, <laughs> well, the hounds came in the night, which is unfortunate. It's only going to get worse, guys. It's only going to get worse from here. There is only going to be more of them. Somebody warned me about this, and I just hadn't gotten around to moving my camp yet. It only burned down some of our stuff. It burned down our twigs. So I guess that's gonna be a that's gonna be a deficiency that I'm gonna have to remedy. But for now, we're almost out of food. We're blinking. We've been assaulted, and so we need comfort food. So I'm gonna fry up some seeds here. I think seven of them should probably get me more or less up to full. There we go. And then I'll probably cook up the rest just as trail food. We did get some hound's teeth, which is pretty good. So we can start making tooth traps. The tooth traps we're actually just gonna surround our base with. And hopefully the tooth traps will take care of any of our more ambitious foes like the hounds. Like the tooth traps can actually be pretty efficient at killing things before they even get to you. Now, he burned down a pretty good chunk of our tree farm. That's not too bad. Kind of surveying the damage here. Surprisingly, our bunny traps were flame retardant. So apparently the rabbits in this game are not flammable. I mean, they may be. I, I don't know. They could possibly be flammable. Now, I'm kind of at a loss for what I should be doing now. I do need to store some of this stuff. And in lieu of all of our stuff burning down... Hmm. Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to chop these down. You can chop down burnt trees. And as you can see, they will drop charcoal. This does play right into my hands. The hounds thought they were clever. They thought they were sabotaging me, but aha. Now, I was actually debating burning down a giant forest and seeing if I could, uh, I wish it was still burning. You need psychological help, my friend. Psychological help. Now, this does give us a ton of pine cones, so we don't really lose out here, and we get a load of charcoal. And the charcoal we're going to use to make a crock pot, which is going to allow us to cook super nice food. It's going to let us be a little bit more classy, and a lot of these are going to drop pine cones, and that bee is wandering far, far from home. I was hoping they wouldn't make it all the way to my base camp so I wouldn't risk injuring them. But alas, as so often happens, my plans have not worked out properly. I made the wrong tool, damn it. Well, oh well, I'll stick this one in the ground here. I like the way that it looks like it's stuck in the ground so that when I leave things laying around, it doesn't look like I've just strewn trash everywhere. I like that. It makes me feel less messy. So we're going to dig the rest of these stumps so that we can make room for these pine cones. We only got four pine cones out of all the trees we chopped down, which is a little unfortunate. But what can you do? I am going to have to go off camera now and find some more stumps. Which is a bit of a Debbie Downer, but ah well. Such is the bread of an everyday life. So now, the hounds did do, this, do us the slight favor of giving us charcoal. So what do we need to make a crock pot here? To make a crock pot, we need, <laughs> we need twigs, and we are twig deficient. They burned down our entire twig farm. Which is the only part of this which kind of sucks. Actually, it really sucks. So I'm going to throw this other axe over here. I'm going to keep the bug net down here, maybe. I don't really think I'm going to mean to be... Well, maybe. We'll plant the rest of these trees a little bit further from camp this time, so that, that doesn't happen again. 
Surprisingly, I don't think I need to move my campfire. I'm just going to have to remember to kill hounds down in this area if they decide to come around. We do have some extra wood now. I'm going to store that up in the chest up here. We'll throw the charcoal in the chest. Um, I think they go in this chest. That chest up there is more for cookery-related stuff. That chest appears to be full. So we shall throw the rest in here with the tools. And our spear is getting pretty close to broken. But now... Let's set off for our pasture biome to grab what supplies we're going to need. So, on the road again. Actually, let's go adventure in a different direction. I'm going to go in this direction. There's lots of twigs in this direction. There's a couple twigs in that direction. But we are a little low on grass, too. What I should do is bring the razor with me and shave some beefaloes. But, I actually don't even think I have like most of the baseline things I need to make a torch. So I'm going to come back over here and get this wood before we leave so we can make a campfire if we need to. There we go. And as always, I am carrying my trusty amulet of resurrection with me just in case. You just don't know in this game. I could be attacked by anything while I'm out here. It's really hard to tell. So we're shoveled. We are... <laughs> we are Listric. Go look that word up. I promise you. Our tools are Listric. Now, we're going to go... This way, I remembered that word this morning. It's not like I looked it up or anything. I heard that word a long, long time ago. And this morning, I was like, shaped like a shark's head. Listric. For some reason, I woke up thinking about that. You don't even want to know the strange machinations of my mind when you wake up pondering vocabulary. Anytime, <laughs> It's got to be a sign of insanity or something, because it really has nothing to do with anything. And also, like, I came home today, and my cat was, like, staring at the door, and it really kind of made me wonder, like, do you think animals have, like, any sense of, like, time passing? Because it seems like he just sits in front of the door and stares at the doorknob. And, like, you know, if a human being was to do that, we would sit there and be like, oh, my God, like, two hours. It has been forever. It is taking forever for this person to get home. But, like, do you think it's kind of, like, fast forward for them? Like, you remember with old VHS tapes, you could hit fast forward, and it was just like, and it would go super fast forward mode. Like, I wonder if it's like that for them once they just settle in and they just fixate. <laughs> it's a little off topic, but we're gathering twigs here, so I've got to come up with something to talk about. Like, and <laughs> the other night I went to Target with my girlfriend, and, like, she was looking at doormats. And she she was pondering, she was like, this doormat, I, I don't like the colors. And I was like, well, are you are you picking a doormat to match your belt? Or, like, are you thinking, like, on Tuesday I'm going to wear the shoes and this belt and I hope the doormat goes with it like what what's the thought process here and I was like there people are just gonna wipe the shit off their shoes on this thing like it's not gonna be the same color <laughs> she gave me the dirtiest look but maybe that's just because I'm kind of a sarcastic douchebag I'm always just kind of being a general <laughs> I'm general I'm just generally just being a piss at any good at any given time <laughs> so that's that's a little fact about splatter cat off camera now, I'm going to enact my sinister plan here to get more charcoal. And you can do this too. This is a fun plan to get charcoal. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some wood here. And actually, we're going to chop first. We're going to chop first because some of these trees I want. So we need some more pine cones for our base camp so that we can plant them. And once we get that taken care of... Now, if we get attacked by hounds right now, it's going to be deeply, deeply troubling and upsetting. Hopefully that does not happen. Hopefully the hounds remain at arm's length for as long as possible. I mean, we've handled them in the past. Like, we roll out. We keep it real up here in Rumble Blankets. Like, Rumble Blankets, we know how to take care of business. It's kind of... You better back up before you get clacked up, if you know what I mean. So, but my spear is almost broken, is really kind of what I'm getting at. And I heard that in the game files, the Gru is referred to as Charlie. And I like calling him Charlie much more than I like calling him the Gru. So, let's see if this is close enough. There we go. Start a forest fire. Forest fire? Hmm. Well, my plan seems to have... I thought this was close enough to start a forest fire. Let's see what happens if I do this. There we go. We'll put that a little closer. There we go. Burn! <laughs> yes! All the charcoal you could ever want. And we came out here for twigs, and I've completely forgotten. Now, if you don't have ways to gather at night, and you're, you're light deficient, like you were light retarded, feel free to do this plan. This plan works. I have burned... <laughs> I, apparently we burned a bird to death. That poor bird landed and just... It's like, oh Jesus, fire! Oh no, my charcoal's burning. Why would you do such a thing? 
Charcoal, how dare you? A flammable object actually partake in the chemical pro properties of which you are beholding? I don't know. I, I, I phrased that strangely. I'm going to leave that feather on the ground. We are going to need feathers in the future to make feather hats because you got to look good when you're out here. you got to be running around with feather hats so that the Gru comes along, or Charlie as we now call him, and goes, yeah, this individual is looking pretty fashionable. Actually, I kind of imagine him as kind of like a... Well, this individual is looking quite fashionable. I guess I suppose I won't eat him. And I'm going to eat this morsel real fast instead of letting it go to waste. And she missed her face there. It happens to me sometimes, especially when I'm on dates. It seems like anytime I'm on a date, the food is like, no, and misses my mouth and just makes me look like a jackass. So now that we've got our shovel, we are going to dig up some of these plants. And it looks like I'm full up, so I'm going to eat some carrots. And I know that I don't need to drag them to my mouth. I like to role play. And so we're going to dig up some of these saplings. And once we get those back to the base, I think we will be back where we started. It kind of sucks that we had to backtrack a little bit and do this, but... Ah, uh, well. What can you do? What can you do, guys? What can you do? All you can do is go forward, because the alternative is not very appealing. Like, there's only one alternative to carrying on, and I don't... I... It does not seem like that much fun to me, but that being the case, I think this is a good spot to break off this episode. My name is Splattercat, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll enjoy me. Enjoy me? I hope you will join me. I hope you enjoyed me, but I hope you will join me next time that we visit. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care out there.